Some of you may have missed the DOST scholarship when you were about to enter college. But I have good news for you! DOST is another scholarship for incoming third-year college students. It is the DOST Junior Level Science Scholarship or DOST JLSS. Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified in our next videos. Let's start with the types of DOST JLSS scholarships. We have three types. We have an in-depth discussion about the first and second type of scholarship in our previous video which you can click here. Generally speaking, the RA7687 is given to those poor, deserving, and talented students who want to pursue um, courses related to science and mathematics, while the merit scholarship are for those students who exceed the standards set by DOST but still wants to avail of the scholarship. Then we have a third type of scholarship in DOST JLSS, which is the RA10612. Republic Act number Scholarship are for incoming regular third-year college students in identified priority SNC courses. Takers must also have a general weighted average or GWA of at least 83% or its equivalent in his or her first year and the first semester of the second year in college. They must also be a resident of the municipality as attested by the barangay and of good moral character and in good health. Takers must have not taken any previous DOST examination or have taken the DOST exam but did not qualify for the scholarship or a qualifier of the DOST undergraduate scholarship but did not avail of the award. And most importantly, you must be a qualifier of the DOST JLSS examination. If you think you're qualified and you'd like to apply for this scholarship and you are a regular incoming third year college student, here are the requirements that you need to prepare. First, you need to fill out nine forms, which you can access in their official website, sei.dost.gov.ph. Then you also need a copy of your official transcript of records or true copy of grades for first and second years in college. Then, you also need to bring a recent 1x1 one one ID picture, a photocopy of your birth certificate, photocopy of any documents containing your DepEd learner reference number, which you can find in your high school. that you can get. DOST will shoulder your tuition and other school fees with a maximum of 40,000 pesos per year. They will also give you a book allowance of 10,000 pesos per year and a premium group health and accident insurance. 
They will also provide a one economy class round trip fare for those studying outside their home province. On top of that, DOST will give you a monthly living allowance of 7,000 pesos per month. For those students having summer classes as required in their curriculum, DOST will be shouldering your tuition of their school fees with a maximum of 1,500 pesos. They will give you another book allowance of 500 pesos and a monthly living allowance of 7,000 pesos for the two months during your summer classes. In addition to the information we have shared about DOSD, there is a new update in their site about their e-scholarship application system so that students can register for their scholarship while they stay at home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Since this is fairly new and we don't want to give you information that we have not learned firsthand, we will just show you the features of their e-scholarship application system. You can access it by going to their site, www.science-scholarships.ph. First, you need to open your browser. In my case, I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Then you type in the address bar www.science-scholarships.ph and press enter. In their site, you can see two types of scholarship, the S&T undergraduate scholarships and the junior level science scholarships, which during this time it is already closed. For those who are watching and who are applying for the ST undergraduate scholarships, I will go through the e-scholarship application system for this type of scholarship. Just click it. Then DOST will be showing a message for you, a future DOST scholar. They have also provided contact information that you can use in case you have questions. You can also see the deadline for filing of application and the schedule of examination. If you want to register for the scholarship, you just press this. And if you're already registered, You can just scroll through to find your birth year. And you enter your month of birth and the day you were born. Then you just have to click I'm not a robot. Then you press register. They will ask you to double check your answers before submitting. And if you're done, you can just submit registration. After registering, a message will pop up. It will say registration successful. A confirmatory email was sent to you. This is the link indicated in the email to continue with your scholarship application. So we are done with step one. Then we will press next. And for those who want to continue the steps, you just go to your email address and follow the instructions sent by DOST. Let's go to the Junior Level Science Scholarship. You can see here the deadline for completion of requirements and the schedule of examination. Just click it. 
During this time of recording, the deadline has already passed, you will be prompted to sign in. But in case DOST opts to extend the registration date, you can click how to apply. They will guide you through the steps on how to apply. Step 1. You need to go to the website. whether you're eligible or not. If you are not eligible, you will be notified with this message. If you are eligible, you will be proceeding to the next step. Step 4. You need to fill out all the required information to proceed. After completing all the required information, you will be on DOST. You may scan or capture printout forms and other documents into digital format. After that, DOST will show you the frequently asked questions about their e-scholarship application system. You can read them to know more. After registering, you will be given an application ID, then you will type your email and your birth date, then, you just click sign in to know more about the scholarship you are applying for. As you can see, the deadline's registration is already finished. However, as I've said repeatedly in this video, DOSD may extend the deadline so that more applicants can still apply. You just keep posted on the updates in their official website, sei.dosd.gov.ph. Those are the information that you need to know about the DOST JLSS Scholarship and the e-scholarship application of DOST. If you want to know more about the DOST Undergraduate Scholarship, know tips from DOST scholars and reviewers for the DOST Scholarship Examination, you can watch our videos. That's all! Bye!